Sepsis, a life-threatening organ dysfunction caused by a dysregulated immune response to infection. It can rapidly lead to tissue damage, organ failure, and death if not recognized and treated early. Recognizing patients at risk for sepsis is essential for improving outcomes. There are a number of tools that we use to help assess risk of sepsis. SIRS, which stands for Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome, QSOFA, the Quick Sequential Organ Failure Assessment, and NEWS, the National Early Warning Score. First, let's begin with SIRS. To meet the SIRS criteria, the patient must meet at least two of the following criteria. Temperature above 38 or under 36 degrees Celsius, heart rate above 90 beats per minute, respiratory rate over 20 breaths per minute, and a white blood cell count above 12,000 or below 4,000, or greater than 10% bands. The SIRS criteria are useful because they can be assessed quickly and easily, and are highly sensitive at identifying patients who are potentially at risk for sepsis. However, the SIRS criteria have begun to fall out of favor for several reasons. They are not very specific for sepsis, meaning many patients meet the criteria without truly being septic. Additionally, there is limited evidence that the SIRS criteria can accurately predict a patient's prognosis. Next is QSOFA. A score of two or more in patients with suspected infection indicates a higher risk of poor outcomes, such as increased mortality, altered mentation, which can be measured with the AVPU score, respiratory rate over 22 breaths per minute, and systolic blood pressure under 100. QSOFA offers several benefits. It can be used quickly to assess the severity of illness in patients with suspected infection and is associated with a higher risk of adverse outcomes. However, QSOFA is not without its drawbacks. It has a low sensitivity, indicating that some septic patients may not initially be identified using the system, making it ineffective as a frontline screening tool. Lastly is the National Early Warning Score, which includes a number of criteria, each of which are rated on a scale of 0 to 3. It includes respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, pulse rate, systolic blood pressure, level of consciousness or new confusion, and temperature. The NEWS criteria have a well-balanced sensitivity and specificity, providing utility in a wide range of clinical situations. It can be used as a prognostic indicator of not only sepsis, but also broader respiratory and cardiovascular deterioration. However, it is a more time-intensive method to use and may require more training and electronic health record support to be consistently applied. In conclusion, each tool has its purpose and should complement not replace clinical judgment. Ultimately, it comes down to accuracy of each tool, with NEWS having a greater area under the curve than QSOFA or SIRS. Now, SIRS can be used as a screening tool to help identify all patients at risk for sepsis, while QSOFA is a more accurate prognostic indicator of mortality. The NEWS criteria offer a more well-balanced approach between these two options and can be used as a supplemental tool in a wide range of clinical situations. Understanding how and where these scoring systems can be applied is important and may yield insights on optimal sepsis prediction strategies in emergency settings.